Hey family, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasil. Helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. Mm, father, mother, child. The ultimate trinity, y'all. The family. We are children of the Most High. We are not children of a lesser God. We are children of the ultimate source, the Most High, y'all. We're like one little sand, or one little speck of light. And one little speck by itself is not noticed. But see how. You can see me in this room because of the light from my lamp is pushing the darkness on the side. You can see the shadows behind me because the darkness is being pushed by the light that's in front of me. It's all working together for the illusion that we see in our eyes, y'all. Our mind puts it all together, all of the input of the light and the darkness and giving us the images that we see. Y'all, can you imagine? We're all intermingled. By itself, not that much. But together, y'all, a mighty force, a mighty force that one by itself cannot do. But anyways, how are y'all doing today? No matter where y'all are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. Won't you come with me to Jam Jelly and the Food Forest Project in the Gambia? Come with me, y'all. Come. Watch the whole video, y'all. The whole video. So you will see what we've done, the improvements. Let's see what we need. Come on, y'all. It's free. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yankuba. Good morning to all the members of Habasia Food Forest. It's another beautiful Sunday, and we are back to the Jambonjini Food Forest. As you can see, we are doing our daily activities, teamwork. Others are watering. Others are making the gate. And Mr. Baji is here making the bed. Um, today we are going to do um, intercropping or mixed cropping or like you can say integrated agriculture like to plant different type of um, this thing, vegetables in the same hole. Today we are going to plant tomatoes, carrot and some hot peppers. Like what I can say about mixed cropping is that mixed cropping is a system of farming in which you plant different type of crop in the same area. Like it it's have a very big advantage because mixed, when you do mixed cropping, it prevents total failure of crop. Because if you plant more than two two crops, if this order, if the carrot doesn't work, the tomato will work, or if the tomato doesn't work, the pepper might work. So it is a system of where I know that where you know that farmers can try it because like it will prevent you losing the, uh, the whole of your crop at once. Because like for example, if you plant tomato and a disease of tomato occurs, occurs it may kill all the tomatoes so you will be left with nothing but if you plant different type of tree there is a high probability that you might get something to harvest and it is a like in initiative from our DRS mom Stephanie Nwade we, um, I would like to say thank you so much for supporting us since the very start of the project so today we are here and trying to do this thing the planting oh Njaraba thank you so much in addition to what Fatu said I know the video we don't want to make it long uh, apart from no total loss but imagine having all this on your table. If you say food forest, the whole idea is having enough on the table. And that's our goal. Uh, in one bed, if you can have your tomato, you have your chili pepper, and you have your carrot. So it's a matter of having all your food from one bed. So thank you so much. Abaraka. So Yaya is doing the planting and making the holes. As, we, as I said, we always believe in teamwork. For teamwork is power, you can share your knowledge and wisdom with them. Any mistake they make, you always tell them, do it in this way. But thank God, big improvement. Last year and this year, 
I think this is one of the best students I ever had. <laughs> so thank you so much. As I said, agriculture is always learning by doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's learning by doing. Yeah, it's so, learning by doing. So if you make a mistake, they say, no, do it in the... How do you feel when uh, you are working with Mr. Baji? You do it in a different way and he said, no. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I feel so great. <laughs> because uh, Mr. Baji is somebody who teaches you and not only by talking, but uh -huh. uh, in action. Thank you. You know, <laughs> So he inspired me a lot. Thank you, thank in you. Agriculture. So before I don't have this feeling, but now I have the feeling of cultivating crop, growing this thing, trees. Thank you, thank yeah. you. No tree, no life. Thank you, yeah, yeah. No so life, no this tree. is why we say, you know, in the food forest, all of us are students. What we want is results. Uh, we don't want to be talking without you seeing. We want to do, you see, and Please, you can like, subscribe, but farmers say comment. Anything you see in a negative way, please let us know. Uh, that's why nobody can control knowledge. Uh, people ask me, I said knowledge is not written down. It is only information that people write. But knowledge is available around you. Whatever you see, you touch, you hear, to me it has the best knowledge. So an agriculture is working with your hand. And success comes with ideas and you see your two hands. Make your hand dirty. Uh, make your hand dirty so that uh, we live by our words. Grow what you eat and eat what you grow. So thank you so much. Today is Sunday. Uh, we started our work, thank God, with the help of the team members. We are now preparing the bed again. Uh, this bed was okra before, but we realized that when it germinates, the squirrel we are destroying it. Now we are putting the spring onion, so you can see how the onion looks like. So we realized that since you now we have problem with monkeys, we are now looking at uh, crops that can also be grown here at little destruction. So we are preparing the soil. It's very hard, so that's why I'm using this. And my brother is using the long one. Yeah, the long one. So, so he's turning it, then I'm breaking the lumps. So from here, we're going to make the side, and from there, we do the planting. So follow us, and you'll see the progress. On that note, I thank our dear mom and all our donors. Please support us. Uh, it's not easy to start a journey. There are a lot of hurdles, but if we are strong, you should make us stronger. Uh, the power, our power, and your power. We have to put them together so that we come with the results. So we are determined and hard work. So we know it's difficult to spend money, but don't regret spending money on people who can give you results. So on that note, we thank you so much. On behalf of the team, Allah Baraka, Jere Jeff, we are so happy and grateful. This is the future and this is the way forward. We are better when we realize our common problem. So no man is an island, we need one another. Uh, together, we can do it better. Thank you so much. Baraka. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, dear viewers. We are so happy that, you know, today we have done our work. When we came after the normal inspection, we were able to do the watering. And when the watering was finished, we make some beds where we put the uh, onion or the spring onion. Because we feel that onion performs very well. So this is an evidence. You can see now they are almost uh, bulbing. And this is the red one. Very good. Very nice. So we want to promote onion production in the sense that uh, any plant, as I said, uh, the success of any plant depends on two factors, environment and genetic. Genetic is the makeup, uh, where you where it originates from, from the parents. You see, so but the environment, you look around you, everything around you, from the air, from the soil, from other factors that you control and factors that you don't control. And one of the factors we don't control are the stray animals. 
we are detect uh, animals coming here. They eat all our potato leaves, but I suspect it could be maybe pigs, or otherwise it can be other animals. But nevertheless, but we realize that for the onion, they don't touch it. That's why I make this video so that to advise farmers, yeah, please look at what suits you and what is good in your environment. And then go according to the dictates of nature. Don't go against nature. So in permaculture, it's not anti-nature. But we are always following the principle of nature. That's why one name for permaculture is natural farming. So you look at situation and then you fit in. One problem, you have many solutions. That's why in farming or in permaculture, there is no excuse. Uh, we don't fear to fail, but what we fear is not trying. So that's why I'm urging everyone, please, as long as you are trying, you will never fail. So my team, on behalf of the team, and then everyone, we thank you. Our dear mom, thank you, Abaraka, for your, until next Sunday. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Seeing our update at the Food Forest Project. I had to redo this video, y'all, because I was trying to use this. Sometimes stuff you buy online is not too worth two cents. And sometimes you wait so long to try it that it's really too much trouble to even try to send it back. But don't worry, I'm going to give them a bad evaluation for it because I couldn't make it work no matter what. I keep charging up the little thing that's supposed to go into the phone. But no matter what I do, when I connect it up, even with the green light on, on it didn't work. So I just have a video that I'd have to dub and child, at my age, I don't feel like overdubbing. I'm doing all this editing and everything by myself. The team in the food forest sends it to me. But y'all, what y'all think of those pigs now? Coming in our fence, cause it's made out of bamboo. And I guess the termites keep getting it, y'all, no matter how much we change it. So this time we're gonna do some updates to the gate. If you wanna help us with the expenses Please just donate any amount you, you feel led to do. Because we're going to bring that carpenter out there so we can figure out what to do to update that gate. One day, one day, as Sally would say, <laughs> we'll be able to get the iron gate. So we won't have to do anything else to the gate other than keep it locked. <laughs> but all of these local gates... Even the pigs done figured out how to knock it, knock it off to the side and go and eat my okra. Now that's the last straw, y'all. <laughs> I don't mind sharing with the monkeys because they be eating stuff that I don't even eat anyway. But okra, y'all, I want to be able to eat some of the okra that grew in the food forest when I go back. So we cannot have no wild pigs going in there eating nothing. I don't eat pigs in the house. And whoever owns them pigs need to make a pen so they can keep them where they at. So they can take care of them and do whatever they want to with them when they're ready. But not to go out there destroying other people's crops. But anyways, y'all. Let's help keep the darn pigs out. <laughs> oh. Put some suggestions down below and put some money with it. <laughs> and I can call it out, the suggestions, <laughs> next Sunday. Oh, y'all. I try my best. We try our best. But that's how life is, y'all. <laughs> that's how we learn divine empathy. And I'll leave a link down below on the video I did on divine empathy. Check it out, y'all. The whole thing. Don't just click it on it, click it off, or just comment on it, on the title. <laughs> Some people just comment on the title, don't watch it. It doesn't count as a view if you don't watch the video <laughs> with the commercials. 
at least do that if you're not going to be able to afford to donate. Watch the whole thing so we can get credit with YouTube. <laughs> Otherwise, we still get zero <laughs> for just a little click on and click off. We need more views, y'all. So please watch in total and share to all of the people that you know. Tell them some good news, y'all. Lots of times people busy spreading the negative news and borrowing trouble and they ain't even visited the motherland at all and don't even plan to visit the motherland because of personal reasons that they feel afraid to travel to anywhere in the motherland. But that's their issue, y'all. Not mine and not yours unless you want to borrow their trouble. <laughs> How about spreading some good news of Habasia, sending out positive signals of empowering the people to self-sufficiency, not just in jail by jelly, but in the world when we do these videos for you, 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 and you. We're showing you what we're doing and we're encouraging you to do the same wherever you are. And if you want us to do it for you, like plant a tree, donate, tell us, use this money to buy a tree and we'll buy whatever we can afford with the money that you sent. And we will call out the name that you give us, whether it's an ancestor name or if you want your own name uh, called out because you will be an ancestor one day. All of us will. If nothing is neither created nor destroyed, we were always here. And we are our own ancestors. And we are here now. And uh, we also pass the baton to the people for the future. Whether it's through our family, friends, or anybody we may positive impact with. So anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed everything happening at the food forest and you're so motivated to support us and subscribe if you have not and hit that notification bell, y'all. And watch all the videos till the end, y'all. And share, share, share. Don't forget, if you motivated Yes, even for a cup of coffee. Whatever it costs you for a cup of coffee, if you donate that, we'll be ever so happy. And if you move to give more, same difference, y'all. Your 501c3 organization can write your donation off your taxes. Just talk to your tax preparer. But anyway, y'all, until next time, what? Peace, peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.